Hello everyone. I did not forget about the weekly reading even though it is Labor Day, a holiday. I thought I would do a reading, a quick pick a card reading. So you're going to choose one of these three cards for this week, the week of September 6th, 2021. And they each have a stone on them. And the first stone is Red Jasper. The second one is Bloodstone. And the third one is Desert Jasper. So all three of these stones are really good for personal power and grounding. And that's kind of why I chose all of these three, because I feel psychically that we all need to work on our stability, our feelings of stability, stability, feeling secure, feeling stable, feeling strong physically, especially coming out of hopefully this pandemic which has been going on so i thought that we would use three stones that are really good for grounding and healing the physical body so which do you feel drawn to is it the first card and the red jasper the second card and the bloodstone or the third card and the desert jasper once you've made your choice you can look below at those timestamps and fast forward to your reading. Have a great week. Hello, group one. If you chose this card and the red Jasper, this is your reading. I would say maybe incorporate red Jasper in your week. Wear it, put the stone in your purse, in your pocket, by your bedside, under your pillow. It'll help you to stay grounded. Your first card for this week is opportunity. When your eyes are open wide, opportunities you never thought possible will manifest. I love this. So it will be a week of opportunities coming into play for you, group one. We are going to draw a few more oracle cards from that same deck. What else does group one need to know about their week? So we also have for you Discovery, Behold the World with New Eyes, and we have Sanctuary as well. Within your heart, a space of regenerating sanctuary awaits. Opportunity, Discovery, and Sanctuary coming up for you, Group 1. We are going to draw a few cards from a different Oracle card deck. Let's see what else I can tell you. But so far, it's a week of discovery and opportunity and also finding your place of peace, your own personal sanctuary. So let's say you are working really hard to grasp this opportunity. Um, you'll need some time to recoup and to regenerate, right? So for you, we also have, I love this card, not a peacock, beauty. See, it's not a peacock, it's actually a unicorn. So this is all about beauty. Seeing and knowing and feeling your own inner beauty, group one. We also have for you, daring. Definitely goes along with the opportunity and discovery over here of being very daring and kind of just going for it. You know, don't be afraid to try something new. We've got discovery here. Don't be afraid of new beginnings as well. We're going to get into the tarot now, group one, and see what we have for you. I do apologize about the lighting at the moment. But hopefully you can see all the cards, okay? Right, we have, look at that, Magician. Magician, com magician coming up first. We have the Wheel of Fortune, which I just featured in my favorite majors hashtag video. We have Nine of Wands. We have the Eight of Coins. And we have the Six of Coins. Okay. Definitely working hard. Um, there's... There's the Daring, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Eight of Coins. There's the Nine of Wands right in the middle here, though. This has to do with 
protecting yourself. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Are you being overly protective or overly careful? I would say absolutely because the Eight of Swords is kind of like when you are trapped, but it's self-made. It's all in your head. So you're feeling, I don't know, some of you could be feeling a little bit agoraphobic or a little bit sociophobic. Maybe you've been working from home for a long time and you try have to try to get out of that this week. Try to get out and socialize a little bit more is kind of what I'm getting psychically for you. Let's see what the Magician and the Wheel of Fortune are bringing for you, Group 1. We have the Eight of Wands. Okay, okay. Two, three eights for you and a seven as well. Okay. So it looks like there is definitely a new beginning. There is definitely an opportunity coming this week for you. You don't want to miss it. It is a risk, but it looks like it would be an advantageous risk. I feel with hard work of the eight that you will do really well with this whatever it is, whether it's a job opportunity or just some other opportunity to make money, an investment or someone wanting to hire you to do something. That's probably what's coming up here at the beginning of the week. But midweek, you kind of realize maybe something's going on. You're feeling a little bit agoraphobic or sociophobic. You might want to get some therapy or at the very least try to get out of your home a little bit more. Even if it's just to take a walk around the block. Whatever you need to do to get out of this feeling stuck. All right, group one. That's the sanctuary. So the sanctuary can be a blessing, but also a curse. You're safe in your sanctuary, but it's, it's also keeping you from discovery, like new experiences, and you're not being brave and you're not being daring if you're staying at home and not trying new things. Well, your guides are telling you, you need to break free. You need to break free, do something different, be daring, go and discover something or someone Okay, because it's out there for you to discover. You do work hard. Let's see what else we've got. We've got all these coins here. Definitely by the end of the week, there is something happening with your money. Probably you're getting paid on Friday or some kind of funds come in at the end of the week. But also you're feeling better physically and maybe even socially if this is going on. You're feeling a little bit braver. Maybe you're making connections with others or you're reuniting with friends. I'm going to draw on this beauty card and see what you need to know about that group one. We have the transition and we have the lovers. Wow. Okay. You need to know your own beauty, inner and outer beauty, because many of you I feel just left a relationship or you're still in pain from a breakup but it's a transitional phase you're you're preparing yourself for this new love coming in group one you're preparing yourself but it all begins within you and seeing and knowing your own worth and your own beauty okay it all begins within you let's see what else i can tell you here let's draw on the discovery card the Hierophant and the Emperor. Oh my gosh. I mean, there's, this is masculine energy. This really could be, if you are attracted to males, this really could be a love interest coming in, a lover. This is the lovers. He could be very spiritual. He could be very much in charge of his life, has his own business, makes his own money. He's risen to a place of prominence in his work, or this is you, or this is you. Maybe you're discovering within yourself that you are very spiritual, very noble, um, very good at what you do, the master of your trade, because we also have the magician here for you, okay? We also have the magician there for you, which tells us that Whatever you're doing, you're excellent at it, or you will soon be excellent at it, okay? 
let's draw on this opportunity. Is it the new job I'm talking about or is it something else? We've got the Five of Cups. Okay, Page of Wands. Communication. This is the love. This is the love here. This is someone coming in. Five of Cups is sadness. It's feeling distraught, des desperate, depressed, alone. And this Page of Swords brings in communication to help heal you. So it's either friends or loved ones coming in to help, or this is literally, for many of you, this is someone new coming in with interest. They definitely are interested. They definitely want to go out and get to know you a little bit better, group one. So that's what your week looks like. Let's pull one final card from the Angel Whispers cards. And we have for you, take time out, give yourself time to have fun, group one. Take time out and give yourself time to have fun. All right, there you go. Remember to be daring this week. Try something new. Get out of the, the doldrums, the monotonous doldrums that you're kind of stuck in, okay? All right, bye. Hello, group two, if you chose the Bloodstone. This reading is for you for this week. Let's see what your first card is. You have rejuvenation. Rejuvenating the spirit will spark the desire to experience the greatness of life. I love that for you. Let's draw a few more from this same deck, the Fairy Guidance Oracle deck. We also have for you Discovery. Group 1 also had this card. Behold the world with new eyes, Group 2. And we have Nurturing for you. Keep your inner child nurtured and you will thrive with vitality. I love that for you. Rejuvenation, discovery, and nurturing. Now we're going to draw a few from a different deck. And let's see what else I can tell you, group two. That one flipped out. We'll use it. So first that flipped out is not an angel. Divinity is this card. It's about owning and realizing and feeling your own magnificence and your own divinity. Also for you, we have rush. Sometimes this means it's time for action. Other times it means it's not time for action. So we'll draw on this a little later. I feel like it probably does mean action because that's kind of the vibe I'm getting so far. She's movement, their movement, Looks like she's moving. Discovery is definitely action. You have to take action to discover something new, right? So it does look like it would be rush into this or be excited about this or do this quickly. Let's see what we can get with the tarot. Keep your inner child nurtured. You will be rejuvenated this week. We have the Fool coming up first. Okay. We have the High Priestess, one of my favorite cards in this deck. We have the Ace of Wands. We have Temperance, another favorite. So I love that. And we have the Ten of Cups. All right. So for you, Group 2. The Fool, the High Priestess, definitely a new beginning for you. You need to trust your instincts. That goes along with owning it and realizing your own divinity. I'm going to draw on these two and see what else we get. Two of Cups. Okay. So something you're doing intuitively this week involves another person. This is a very beneficial type of partnership. It doesn't necessarily mean romantic. It could be a creative partnership or a business partnership or a work partnership or a coworker, or it could be a small team of you, but essentially 
it's a very healthy partnership, especially with two twos in a row. Let's draw one more on those and see what else we get. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. So whatever this is, with this 10 and this 10 here, it's going to result in very, very good fortune for you. All right, a very fortunate outcome. Whatever you're doing, whatever you're planning, it's a new start, it's a fresh start. You've been rejuvenated. You're now doing something in a different way, either at work or just in your life in general, but you have a partner or help with you this time. As long as you trust your instincts, everything should go just fine. This is just validating the new beginning with this Ace of Wands. It's probably social or with your work or with your own business or a creative project. Now we do have Temperance here. Let's draw on that card. And we have the Knight of Coins. Okay, one more. And the Knight of Cups, wonderful. So this is kind of telling us that you will be very passionate about this project or whatever it is, but it will be slow moving, so you have to have patience, okay? Let's say you decide to launch your own website. This is saying you are putting all your heart and soul into it with that Knight of Cups, but it might be slow moving here with the Knight of Coins. And what you have to do is balance it all out, temper the situation, be patient. Everything will happen when it's time for it to happen. And of course, with the Ten of Cups, we've got just joy, bliss, happiness. Let's draw on that. Whatever this project is, though, that I'm tapping into, it's definitely going to result in something fortunate. Okay. Justice and the lovers. All right. So this is definitely a balancing out of male and female. It could be you and your significant other, because this is the lover's card, kind of having a talk, a heartfelt talk, spending time together, together, quality time, having a talk about everything, and you're both understanding each other. There's fairness, there's listening to understand, and there's also speaking your truth is what I'm getting psychically. That is going to happen here towards the end of the week, probably going into the weekend, but it's been a long time coming, group two is what I feel. You've, you've needed to talk to this person for quite a while, and you're doing it in such a kind and compassionate way, it doesn't end up in a big fight. It ends up very peaceful, and you actually grow closer together, all right? Let's see what else I can tell you. Let's draw on some of these cards up top. We're going to draw on the discovery card. What needs to be discovered this week? Three of coins. Okay. Okay. This is all about learning, working with others, or being an apprentice, or teaching or training others. Okay. But it does involve other people. Again, the partnership card came up. So that might be part of the discovery for you. You realize you can't do something alone, or you realize it would be more beneficial to bring on a partner. All right? Let's draw on the Divinity card and see what we get. Any messages from your angels or guides? We have six of coins. Okay, we have the Hierophant. This is kind of all about not letting old ways dictate how you feel about yourself, okay? Like, let's say you were raised a certain way with a certain religion where you were kind of taught that you were small, you were not as important as other types of people or as God or whatever. This is kind of saying it's time to get rid of that old stuff, that old way of thinking, and honor your own divinity, your own majestic self. Okay? 
You are worthy of happiness, love, and good fortune in this lifetime. And I feel that you need to hear that group too. My guides told me that you needed to hear that. You are worthy of love, joy, happiness, abundance, and good fortune in this lifetime. Let's draw on the rush card. What needs to be done quickly? We have the Empress and we have the Tower. The, okay, so it's saying something has to be done quickly or it might all fall apart. Some creative idea has to be birthed, has to be implemented, or it could be too late. All right? This is all about creativity and fertility. Okay? Let's draw just a few more tarot cards before we draw our final card. We'll draw on the nurturing card and see what we get. Okay, we have strength. Absolutely. Knowing your own strength is very important for you, group two. You are strong enough and able enough to achieve these goals one of which is definitely going to begin this week this is the week to start it this is a good startup week for you okay but don't forget to nurture yourself keep your inner child nurtured and you will thrive with vitality that's the key for you to be successful is to honor your divinity and keep your inner child entertained and happy and draw a final message from the Angel Whispers cards for you, group two. And for you, we have Simplify Your Life and the Answer You Seek Will Appear. Okay? Simplify Your Life and the Answer You Seek Will Appear. There you go, group two. I hope you have a great week. Bye. Hello group three, if you chose this Desert Jasper, this reading is for you. So let's see what your first card for this week is. For you, we have energy. With boundless energy, you can accomplish more than you ever thought possible. I love that for you. High energy week for you, group three. Let's see what else we get for you with the same Oracle deck. We have meditation for you. So that's about the opposite of energy. Meditation will bring you clarity of mind and a sense of inner peace. So definitely you'll be balancing things out this week if you are energetic and physical and you also meditate. And we have communication for you. The sharing of insight and ideas are embodied through the art of communication. Hopefully it will be clear communication with loved ones and coworkers, etc. We're gonna draw from a different deck and see what else I can tell you about your week. So first we have vulnerability. Yeah. It's all about allowing yourself to be vulnerable. Don't be afraid to be vulnerable at, at certain times. And we have creativity. Wow. Fiery creativity coming through this week for you, group three. There's a lot of fire energy with this fairy as well. I love that. Vulnerability and creativity. Lots of energy coming through. And to balance that out, we have meditation. <laughs> Let's see what I can tell you with the tarot. About your week, group three. We have the three of wands coming up first. We have the Ten of Cups. We have Justice. We have the Two of Cups. And we have the Chariot coming through for you, Group 3. Okay. I love how the Chariot is right underneath this very active, fiery, moving horse or unicorn. 
All right, the three of wands. You have reached a point where you are making a plan. There is something happening here. Um, you are contemplating what to do next with your creativity or your work. So I'm going to draw on that and see what else I can tell you. This is a highly creative group is what I'm getting. Eight of Cups. Okay, Eight of Cups. And the Hermit. All about leaving that which no longer serves you. So part of your process, your creative path, let's say, is letting go of what no longer serves you. Leaving that which no longer serves you. Going within a little bit, there's the hermit and there's meditation to try to figure out what you need to do next. And once you figure it out, then you take that energy and you put it all into this new thing. Okay? So there is a transition happening. We have the Ten of Cups. This is joy, bliss, happiness. So there's other people supporting you and celebrating your choices this week. Justice, we're going to draw on that and see what we get. All right. Okay. So we have justice, we have the nine of wands, and we have the devil coming up. Let me see. I feel like many of you have been working very hard to get over something, whether it's pessimism, fear, negative self-talk, or something a little more serious like an addiction or a mental illness. You've been doing the work, and I feel that this week you have, for the most part, accomplished goals in relation to this problem, okay? That's what I'm getting from these cards, is you're finally kind of seeing the light at the end of the tunnel with this personal, it's a very personal issue is what I'm hearing. So maybe you're just, maybe you're depressed and nobody knows. Maybe you are super anxious and no one knows. Maybe you don't deal with emotions well, so you binge eat, or you drink too much, or you do drugs or something. I feel like it's a secret, but you're trying to handle it on your own. And I will say you're doing pretty good. Now, if you do feel you need help at some point, please reach out for help. Seek a therapist, see a doctor, talk to a friend or a colleague or someone you love or trust or respect. Okay, because you don't really have to go through this alone. You don't. But there is improvement this week. There is a little bit of a release, a little bit of relief from whatever your issue is, whatever this is, this is that's um, kind of bothering you. And we do have, oh, I love that. There is someone coming to the rescue for you this week. This is partnership. Someone who truly does care and love you. They are being depicted here as the Knight of Wands. Very fiery energy. This reminds me of the Knight of Wands, okay? So this is someone who could be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, or someone who's just very spontaneous and fun. They know, they feel or sense that you've been sad or depressed, but they're coming in, they're coming in, and they want to spend time with you and make sure you're okay. All right, we have the chariot. We have the queen of wands. Hold on, let me see something really quickly here. Okay, we have the chariot. This is actually the king of wands. That's what I was looking at, the crowns. So again, we have more of that fire energy. Aries, Aries, Aries Leo, Sagittarius coming in really quickly to try to save the day. This is someone who does care. They want you to feel better. They want to spend time with you. They really do care. And they are making it known. Their communication is very clear. Could be someone you haven't heard from in a while. And all of a sudden they get a feeling about you. Maybe they're worried or maybe they just get this, this urge to see you. And it just, it makes both of your weeks. You're both benefiting from this little visit or night out or lunch or whatever it might be. 
Let's draw on the energy cord card up here and see what we can get. We have the lovers. Okay. And the two of swords. There's a choice here. I think this is mainly just about choices because this is choices. The lover's card can be choices. I think we're getting a double validation here. So what are you choosing about your energy? I feel like you have choices and options of how you spend your energy. And as long as you go within and you trust yourself, trust your instincts, um, you won't make the wrong choice. You'll be spending your energy wisely, okay? Rather than what I was talking about, you know, being anxious or worried or depressed or, or binging on something, you're spending your time wisely. Okay, you're making better choices is what I'm hearing as well. Let's see what we get on this vulnerability. We have the tower, yeah. And the ace of coins, okay. These kind of point to taking a risk creatively, whatever it is, putting your stuff out there for the first time, um, opening up a store, selling things online, coming up with a new idea and sharing with, other, with others. But however you decide to share your creativity, it, it does make you more vulnerable for crit, to criticism. That's just part of it. It's just part of it. Like, you know, I do these YouTube videos. I, it was difficult for me at first because I, I didn't want any backlash or, or haters or trolls or whatever. But you know what? You've got to just focus on the positive. You've got to put yourself out there because you have very strong, fiery creativity. And I feel that you've got some brilliant ideas and you just need to do it. You just need to communicate what it is you're, you're thinking and feeling and go for it. There's a lot of movement this week. And it's movement from a very slow, kind of dark, dull, depressing existence to something that excites you and ignites your soul, is what I'm hearing. Okay, we also have the Hierophant coming up and the Six of Wands, yeah. So that's all about reaching a point of, of prestige. It's about being well-known in your field here. Maybe doing a few things the standard way, the old way, but essentially you're being known or seen or revered for doing something your way is what I'm getting. All right, group three. Wow, a lot of creative energy, a lot of going within for you, being a little bit vulnerable, putting yourself out there. There's someone coming in really wanting to spend time with you. They truly do care, so allow them to help you, okay? We're going to draw a final message for you, group three. And for you, we have, like an eagle, it is your time to soar. Do not fear that you will fall. Perfect. Yeah. Allow yourself to be vulnerable. Have faith. Don't fear that you will fall. All right, group three, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Hello, we're going to do the weekly general reading here and see what's in store for all of us. What is the energy like this week for all of us overall? Faith. Spiritual faith is a devoted assurance of the heart. We all need to keep the faith. Faith is very important for us this week. We also need or have... Hope, oh my gosh, faith and hope, you guys. I love this, faith and hope, put it like that. We'll draw an Angel Whispers card and then I'm gonna get into the tarot just a little bit for all of us. Faith and hope are the first two messages. And third, we have, you are in control of your own destiny. My friends, you are in control of your own destiny. Keep the faith, have hope. And now we'll get into the tarot just a little bit for the collective. 
see what we all need to know. I'm gonna shuffle them one more time. Whoops. Okay. We have the Ten of Coins, the Queen of Swords, Nine of Wands, Seven of Coins, and the Two of Cups. I think this came up for two out of three of the groups here today. Partnership, finding your tribe, finding your people, doing the work and knowing that you're going to get the rewards at the end. Ten of Coins is all about planning for the future. So this week, look into the further future and try to envision what you want your life to be like and you wanna plan accordingly with your finances. Queen of Swords, being independent, being very clear-minded and sure of choices and decisions that you make, all right? The Nine of Wands is all about having your defenses up but it's also about self-protection. So you do want to protect yourself to an, a, to an extent, but you don't want to completely withdraw from society or from the world. We'll draw just a few more. Look, we have the world. <laughs> we have the world. And we have the Empress. Yeah, the Empress. Nurturing and caring for the world. Big message. Planning for the future. Having faith and hope knowing that we are in control of our own destinies, knowing that we need each other, we need to plan for the future, and don't make any choices until you're sure, okay? Don't make any rash decisions. Go within, do the work, do the research, and figure out what you need to do. Okay, everyone, hope you have a great week. Bye.